I'm still in a dark place inside my life. I'm still hurting, but I'm still always praying though. And even though it's getting ugly, I'm still getting it on. So I'm letting y'all know I love y'all and I'm good. No need to worry about me. I'm dropping the tape at 12. Fuck all y'all bitch ass niggas. Tell a nigga catch up with me. Shalom, I give all undergoing praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakaku Dash, they give double to our apostles and elders, great millstone. Salutations to all your sincere brothers pushing this right across the four corners of the earth. And as you saw from the previous video, a Baton Rouge rapper by the name of NBA Youngboy stated in his video that he's still in a dark place in his life. He's still hurting. So for the natural eye, for the ones of our people that are not spiritual, they'll look at this situation as why would he say something like this? This is a young so-called black male that defied all the odds made up out of his hood, signed a major deal, put his people on. Now he's rich. He has all the fame and the glory that this world can ever give him. But us as the hopeful elect, we see the real ordeal of this situation. That you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans who are the biblical Israelites it proves even more through the spirit that this is not our risk, as it says in the book of Micah, the second chapter, because it is polluted. It should destroy you even with a sword of destruction. And a lot of our people that who signed into this Hollywood industry, you know, you sold your souls, you did all types of sadistic rituals to make it into that type of world, to have your music propagated throughout the whole world, be number one on the charts through your different songs or albums. You'd be able to travel throughout the whole world. You did all type of things that the average person has never ever did. But not knowing at the end of the day, you have to pay a price for that. And a lot of our people that are into that music industry, they are witnessing that and they see it deep down in their spirits. And this is Job 10 and 21. Before I go whence, I should not return even to the land of darkness and the shadow of death. So the land of darkness and the shadow of death is representing America, known as Babylon the Great, according to the scriptures. Verse 22, a land of darkness as a darkness itself and of the shadow of death without any order and where the light is as darkness. So this place, America, is without any order because it's not following the true way of the heavenly father, Yahweh, and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, which is the true way, the true order. His laws, his statutes, his commandments. So if this place is not following any order, that means this place is being promoted by do as thou wilt, obey your thirst, by all means necessary, just do it. That's that type of negative vibration that's being pushed out here in America and throughout the whole world because America's that main hub with that major influence throughout this whole world. And all these other nations follow suit. So you have to ask your mind, why is this place without any order? Why is this place is not righteous? Why is it not following the true way, which is the Bible? And who is doing this? And this is all orchestrated by the tabernacle of Edom, who are the so-called Caucasian race, and more so the elites of the so-called Caucasian race. That shadow government, they push that negative vibration out throughout the whole world. They are the ones that entice our people and these other nations as well of the so-called glamour, the riches, and the fame that you would get by signing to this Hollywood industry. So for the ones of our people that got caught into that snare, deep down you know that this is all an illusion. That's why you have a lot of these different rap artists or different entertainers that made into that Hollywood industry will say they wish they can just go back to normal, to their normal lives. And you have to think in your mindset, like, why is that? Why would they say something like that? Here is, you are multi-millionaires. You can have all the things you want in this world, but you still want to go back to your normal lives because there's more to it. And that leads me to the book of 1 Timothy, the sixth chapter and the eighth verse. And having food and raiment, let us be there with content. And that's only for the nation of Israel beginning with the elect. Those are the ones that are going to be in that mindset are just receiving their daily givings from Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai. Not try to overachieve and make into this society, capture this so-called American dream, or you might be talented in music or some type of sports, 
that you want to be able to use that God-given talent and make it up to a higher level. And that higher level is by signing to Esau's world, the Hollywood industry. Verse nine, but they they would be rich fall into temptation and a snare. So two thirds of our people, especially the ones of our people that had so-called made it into this music industry, they have fell into that snare. It's a trap because you are constrained by those different contracts that you sign and you have to do all type of sadistic rituals in order to move up in that Hollywood realm. Because you get amazed by the illusion you see on TV of the ones of our people in their music videos, how they just be all throughout the whole world, stunting, popping bottles, just so-called living it up. So you are caught into those temptations and those snares. You're like, man, I want that lifestyle. I want to be able to have women chasing me, screaming for me. I want everybody to know who I am throughout the whole world. I want millions of subscribers on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and the list goes on. But not knowing that that snare is going to all them different constraints and the confinements by those deals that you had to sign with Esau by making that pack, that agreement. And when you make it to that Hollywood realm, it's three main sacrifices you have to do. One, the humiliation sacrifice. Two, the homosexual sacrifice. Or three, the blood sacrifice. So when you sign your name into that blood, which goes right back to Isaiah, the 28th chapter, that our people have made that covenant, which is going to that agreement or that pact with death. You have to do all these type of rituals in order to so-called keep your riches and in order to so-called keep your fame and your glory because you have to keep appeasing those demons. You have to keep feeding them, meaning making those sacrifices on their left hand side. And the more and more you sacrifice, the more and more Satan so-called blesses you with the luxuries of this world. These are those hidden secrets that are behind closed doors, what you have to do to make it to this music industry. With the casting couch, you have to do abominable acts. So back again, 1 Timothy 6 and 9. But they that would be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. Because these different music artists and entertainers, they be heavily dosed up on drugs just to be able to sleep or to cope with their problems because at the end of the day, it's in the back of their minds what they had to do to achieve that so-called success, what they had to do. And that goes into all those abominable, filthy acts you had to do. And I did a video a while back with this rap artist by the name of Bow Wow, and he was just stating how, you know, he flew everywhere throughout the whole world. You know, he'd been with the most prettiest women throughout the whole world. He you know, drove all the fly cars in this current world. But at the end of the day, he's still unhappy. He's still searching for peace. And he said he feel like that he sold his soul. And by that, that means you sold your morals, your dignity, your integrity by bending over, by getting defecated on or urinated on, that all goes into that humiliation sacrifice. Then you had to do homosexual acts. You had to participate in orgies, even with the same sex. Or you had to do a major type of sacrifice, which is going to sacrificing a loved one or someone that's very close to you. So these hurtful lusts, has drowned two thirds of our people that are caught up into this Hollywood realm into destruction and perdition. It was nothing but snares and traps ran by the tabernacle of Edom. They entice you into that illusion and you just get all engulfed into it. Verse 10, for the love of money is the root of all evil. So you do all these satanic sacrifices just in order to gain these so-called riches. And these are nothing but artificial riches. It's not true riches according to the scriptures. First and foremost, the true riches is having the understanding of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai via the scriptures. This is true wisdom. The only ones that are going to give ear to the true wisdom are the elect of the nation of Israel. It says, For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. 
And that's all this music industry promotes. It covers after everything, after your woman, and after these materialistic things. And that drowns a lot of our people, especially the children of our people, because Esau studies the mind, and he knows that these children are impressionable. So they'll keep conditioning you by setting up these false idols, these sellout artists, to push out that negative vibration upon our people. And next thing you know, that these children want to be rap artists now, or they want to be some type of musician. They want to be an actor or an actress. Which leads me to the book of 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter and the third verse. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. And that gospel is representing the good news of the scriptures. Telling our people who they are according to the scriptures. Letting you know who your true power is according to the scriptures. Letting you know who your enemies are according to the scriptures. Letting you know through the spirit that we came to America to serve our prison term by disobeying the laws of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And that punishment was only going to be for a certain moment of time. It wasn't going to be forever. It's not going to be perpetual. That we have something way greater than this place America or Esau can ever give us, which is the kingdom of heaven ushered in by the greatest man that ever walked this earth, Yahweh Shai. So that's the good news that we are preaching to our people. And as it says, it is here to them that are lost. So two-thirds of our people, they are not going to be happy to hear that good news. So it's here to them that are lost. So this is only meant for the elect of the nation of Israel. Verse 4, And whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. And that's going to Esau Edom. He has enticed our people in America and throughout the whole world as well, where our people are scattered to, that this is the way you can make it out of your current situation. By signing these major deals and being uplifted throughout the whole world. Where your name and your brand is commercialized throughout this whole world. You everywhere on the TV, on the internet, on social media, everything. So it's blinding the ones of our people that want that type of lifestyle. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shai, who is the image of Yahweh, should shine unto them. So that true light is by having this understanding. And that's going to that spiritual inspiration. So that's only going to be given to the elect of the nation of Israel. That special remnant. That Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is going to save in these last days. And Lord willing, we are a part of it. And this is the book of Psalm, the 30th chapter, and the fourth verse. Sing unto Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, O ye saints of his. And the true saints is the elect of the nation of Israel. Those are the ones that are going to be singing the tunes of Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, which is understanding this word, that beautiful song. So Lord willing, we are the ones that have that ear to sing unto Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai. While the majority of our people are singing unto Esau by trying to make it here in America, capturing this so-called American dream. If you have a talent in a sport or music, you can be able to sign a major deal and you can be able to live happily ever after here. Majority of our people are caught up into that well by singing unto Esau. And it says, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. So we want to be partakers of Yahweh Shai's holiness. By getting rid of these current bodies that we are in, which is hell, and being fashioned to Yahweh Shah's body. It's just being remembering the book of life, not following for Satan's devices. Because this place just promotes nothing but wrongdoing. So we're fighting to overcome that madness and being ushered in by Yahweh Shah's righteous new world order. But two thirds of our people, they want their memorial here. We want our memorial in the book of life. So that's the remembrance of his holiness. Just imagine in the kingdom of heaven and having these other nations to write about our different journeys and his truth and how we overcame by the blood of the lamb, by fighting against all the different things that was against us through the spirit. Verse five, for his anger endured but for a moment. Going right back to what Apostle Paul stated in the book of second Corinthians, the fourth chapter, but our light affliction is but for a moment. So this punishment or this prison term that we are currently in as the biblical Israelites is only for a moment. So through the spirit, that shows us how gracious and merciful the heavenly father Yahweh is and his only begotten son Yahweh Shai. This punishment is not going to be forever. And just think about like a father punishing his child or children. He's not going to punish them forever. It's only for them to acknowledge their offense and repent and come back into the true way. So through the spirit, that's what we're doing. 
we see what this current world promotes how in order for you to make it here you gotta sell out you gotta bend over you gotta do all type of vulnerable things you gotta lose your integrity we see through that through the spirit so we are trying to cleave on to you how about shame y'all shy as much as we can and that's through his word so it says for his anger endure it but for a moment in his favor is life weeping may endure for a night but joy coming in the morning so that's what two-thirds of our people cannot understand that this place is not going to be here forever you're not going to be a rap artist or a musician or some type of entertainer forever all this stuff is temporal so by you selling out signing those major deals with esau making that pact or the agreement with him it's all in vain because at the end of the day esau which is that serpent what the scriptures talk about He's going to recollect that deal that you made with him and he's going to turn against you. That's what a serpent does. So we're looking for that joy that come in the morning. And that's when Yahweh coming back to collect his elect from the four corners of the earth, along with the Lord of hosts, the chariots. And they're going to usher in the kingdom of heaven. That's that joy that come in the morning. Not this nightmare here in America, the land of darkness, the shadow of death. So that was just a quick lesson through the spirit. This rapper by the name of NBA Youngboy from Baton Rouge, he stated that how he's in a dark place in his life and how he's hurting. He's not happy. And you can just see in his countenance that he's gone, man. He got that demonic vibration on him. You can look in his eyes. His eyes look very evil. So that's why the scriptures tell us in the book of Psalm, the 37th chapter, fret not thyself because of evildoers. Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. And the main worker of iniquity is going to Esau Edom, begin with the elites, and just trickling on down to two thirds of our people that want to be likened to Esau Edom. The ones of our people that sold out into this Hollywood realm, they want to make it here, they want to stay here in America. And they have the so called riches, the glamour, the fame, or the glory. And that's why it says, fret not. Don't be envious against them because at the end of the day, they're going to pay back for all that negative vibration they have been doing. They have influenced a lot of our people to fall into the ways of darkness. It's leading a lot of our people to their downfall. So these different major artists are the ones of our people. They have a lot of blood on their hands. And it also says in the book of Psalm, the 37th chapter, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. So they're going to die at the end of the day, and they're going to die a horrible death. And that's beautiful that Yahweh Bashan Shai, he keeps showing us examples and just keeping us in the spirit that just continue to suffer patiently and wait upon him. And not to be enticed by the ways of Esau's with his different devices. Because these different artists are the ones of our people, as you can see, they are totally depressed. They're not happy. They're not sleeping good at nighttime. They're heavily dosed up on drugs, which means that puts more demonic spirits upon them. And here it is, these guys are so-called multi-millionaires in this society. And that's just to show you through the spirit that we as the hopeful elect are in the best position as an Israelite man woman can ever be in. So at the end of the day, for what should it profit a man if he should gain the whole world and lose his own soul? And with that, hope y'all was edified. Y'all stay strong. Shalom. I'm still in a dark place inside my life. I'm still hurting, but I'm still always praying though. And even though it's getting ugly, I'm still getting it on. So I'm letting y'all know I love y'all and I'm good. No need to worry about me.